What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Cupcake Polish's newest releases. I have the Cartoon Collection as well as a new release of Visible Nail Line Blurring Base Coats. More on that on the end of the video. So let's dive right into the swatches for the Cartoon Collection. First up is Cowabunga. This is described as a turquoise cream polish filled with green iridescent flakes. So this is essentially a six piece set that has very similar finishes across all six of the polishes and they have quite a bit of a crelly feel with a strong squish factor to them. So I'm going to suggest going in lighter on your coats just so that you don't get any over buildup. And for the most part, I think two to three coats is perfect for all of them. This has a lovely sort of dusky sort of turquoise feel in my opinion, and it is very strong on the pond effect for the flakes. Now this one dries down flat, so you are seeing a glossy top coat on my full hand shot. And next is dough. This is a, I know I didn't say that right. This is a mustard yellow cream polish filled with red iridescent flakes. So again, very similar squishy, crelly, more jelly-like formula. The base color to this one is really interesting in my opinion. I'm going to classify it along with one of those uh, prugly sort of colors. It's a bit earthy. It's very warm toned. It's got quite a bit of a uh, Dijon mustard sort of feel. I don't think I have a polish with this type of base color. And the reddish flakes in here definitely give it more of a duskier, uh, more Dijon sort of color if that makes sense. And next is Good Grief. This is a cornflower blue cream filled with blue iridescent flakes. So again, another what I consider crelly sort of formula. This also has that strong squishy factor for uh, lack of me just sounding like a robot at this point. This is uh, one of my top picks in the six. This one and another one that we're going to see in just a few moments that it is very strong. I do agree this is a cornflower blue and what I consider a true cornflower in that some lighting it may take on just the slightest bit of a purple sort of undertone to it but just trust that it is a very vibrant medium sort of blue and next is what's up doc this is a medium gray cream filled with pink to gold to blue iridescent flakes again on in my opinion this is more of a crelly very strong squishy factor here as well the base color to this one is what i would describe as a warm sort of gray it's got this smoky sort of appearance to it so very very dusky uh, as you build it up and again for opacity i think two coats is perfect you just want to be careful on your coats for these as again that real nice squish bounce on your brush strokes can definitely uh, have you run into some over buildup if you go in too thick. So this one gives you that iridescent sort of mosaic effect. The flakes also take on that dusky appearance against that base color. And you can definitely see a pond effect between your coats. And next is Yabba Dabba Doo. This is a raspberry red cream polish with red iridescent flakes. So in my opinion, the base color to this one has uh, a very strong, strong pink undertone to it. It's of what I would consider the cool toned type. So definitely what I consider a raspberry sort of color, but a strong, really pretty pink almost fuchsia sort of undertone to it. The flakes pop really well against this one as well. This is my other top pick in the set. Really pretty, very flattering type of berry sort of pink. And when you finish off with a glossy top coat, you can see how plump and opalescent the flakes appear. And lastly, we have Zoinks. This is a purple gray cream polish filled with gold green pink iridescent flakes. This is really pretty as well. Um, it's definitely what I consider a dusky sort of purple. It starts off quite vibrant, but as you build it up, it's gonna take on just a touch more of a cooler sort of deeper tone and the flakes pop very well against it. So you can see this strong rainbow-like effect. This one does have the slightest bit more of a cream type of formula in my opinion, though still heavily leaning on Crelly type. So I think even if you go in lighter on your coats, I think two coats is gonna be perfect for it. And next we have the Visible Nail Line base coats. So I reviewed Blur number two for PPU a few months ago, and now we have Blur one, Blur three, and a French Manny base. So just to start off with, I wanted to show you guys as these are intended to be Visible Nail Line blurring base coats. And what that means is this is basically a base coat, not a cream, 
though it acts like a cream in my opinion, and you want it to line up with your skin tone. So this first one there was blur one, this one's blur three, and then I've got blur two here. So honestly, these are such perfect matches for, at least for me, that I think you may be able to fit into say two categories. So if you're warm and very medium toned like myself, I think blur one or two is perfect for you. But again, I think this gives you a good idea of matching up with your skin tone. So this first one is VNL Blur Number no. One, which is described as a sheer light neutral color that will work best for those with a pink to cool or neutral undertones. So you can see, I think, and at least in my opinion, I think Blur One could definitely work well for myself. Um, it does have a much smoother, lighter formula than the previous release Blur that came out in the PPU uh, shop a few months ago. Now, Blur 2 is a sheer medium neutral. So the previous one, Blur 1, is a light neutral. This one's a medium neutral. And if I had to pick a perfect one for myself, I would pick number two. I think this definitely matches up as a very, very much matching. It's almost like a foundation for my nails against my skin tone. And then finally, we've got Blur 3. This is a sheer deep neutral shade. So continuing on, this one's a touch more of a cooler sort of undertone to it, and it's on the deeper side. So going to depend on your undertones. Again, this is like foundation, if you ask me. And I just hope that the video gives you guys a really good idea of uh, kind of how this is going to work, essentially. And we also have the new Ooh La La. This is a sheer light pink shade that can be used to create a flawless French mani. So I think this is really a flattering type of pink if you wanted to build it up, uh, maybe even as like a, a bubble bath sort of appearance. But uh, I wanted to definitely create a French mani with it as that is the intended use for this base coat. And French manis are one of my favorites. Any excuse to do them, I'm going to do it. So I'm going in with a tip image and I'm just stamping on my little tip here. I was a little concerned with how pink this one was, to be honest, because I was like, this is not going to look like acrylics on my nails against my skin tone. But after cleanup and topping with a glossy top coat, you can see here, I think it mimicked acrylics really well. And this is definitely something I'm going to reach for in the future. Now the VNL blurs and the cartoon collection are all currently available through Cupcakes shop. I will link you guys below to that if you want to check that out. In addition to the Facebook group, if you wanna see additional swatches, all that good stuff, I'll have all the information, including the stamping plate linked below in the description box if you're curious which one that was. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.